Welcome back everyone. I'm here today bringing you a video with, uh, with some really, really bad news. Now, before you go on and carry on about anybody else being at fault here, um, it's entirely my fault. I failed as a guardian, as a parent, and as a human being. I'm a terrible person and what I'm about to tell you is entirely my fault. This morning, about three o'clock in the morning, I got woken up, crashed, took a crap, shot over the side of her bed, got it all over me, all over my bed. I had to take everything apart, I had to throw everything in the laundry. And needless to say, from about three o'clock on, I was awake. About six-ish, I fell asleep again until Crash decided she wanted to get out of bed and she was jumping all over the place and just ready to go and you know, start her day. And it was too early for me, I hadn't hardly gotten any sleep. So I put her back in her box and she stayed there for about 20 more minutes and then she was done. She was ready to get up and Boomer was misbehaving. He was jumping all over the place and being crazy. So I do what I usually do in the morning and that's I open up the bedroom window and I give them a little toss out the window and let them get started on their day. There's water out there, they can play and then when I get up it's time to feed them. Well, I fell asleep finally. I didn't get up until almost 10 o'clock in the morning and I was just really beat because I had been up all night and this is this is where the part comes that I failed I open up the back door expecting to be greeted by two ducks I was only greeted by boomer and I didn't understand why because normally when I open that back door a crash comes running inside especially if it's lately because she built a nest in my office in the middle of my weight set off to the side and as soon as she comes inside, she runs to the water and food, eats a little bit, and then runs right to the nest and sits on it for a few hours. And that, that's her, her morning routine. And it was quite a surprise to me to not see her. So I ran around the yard and looked under things and tried to find her, and I couldn't. I just couldn't. So I checked my security cameras to try to figure out where she might have gone. And uh, I saw she was by the front door. And she was by the front door as early as about 7.30 in the morning. She was there as late as about 9.30, pacing back and forth, walking back and forth, knowing that the front door is another place for her to get into, wondering why I hadn't gotten up yet. But the fact is, she doesn't belong by the front door, and how she got to the front door, that's where I failed. I didn't close the gate all the way, and she got out. And at 9.30 in the morning is when she wandered away. And she got out of the view of the cameras and I didn't see her anymore. And it wasn't until like 11 that I knew that she was gone and I couldn't find her. So I went and started knocking on neighbors' doors. Nobody, nobody had seen a duck or knew anything of the duck. And I looked over the neighbor's fence and that's my heart stopped. I saw a pile of feathers, and I knew there were Crash's feathers. So I asked the neighbor if I could get in the yard and look at the feathers, and there wasn't a lot of feathers there. There was just some, just some. And they have that obnoxious dog that always barks in the background of all my videos. And again, this is not the dog's fault. But I figured there was a scuffle. There was no carcass, there was no body, there was no blood. We could not find anything but some feathers. It was assumed that she had probably gotten away. There was a spot that she could squeeze under the fence to go out the back to the other neighbor's yard, and I assumed that's where she had probably gone, so I snuck my way over there and looked around, and their grass had been growing up for quite a while. They haven't cut the grass back there because that large tree that fell down during Hurricane Sally about 13 months ago uh, last year we had that hurricane, uh, they still haven't cut it up yet, and the grass has grown around it. Well, I got back there and I noticed that the tall grass had not been pushed down in any way, that anything had ever walked across it. So I knew at that point that Crash didn't make it that far. So, being that it was still too early in the day, my neighbor wasn't yet home, I waited till he got home and he came and knocked on my door and he said, I've looked everywhere in the backyard, and he says, I can't find your duck. He says, I know you loved her, thinking it was Skeeter. He says, I'll replace your duck. I said, you don't have to replace the duck. 
He said the dog wouldn't have eaten the duck. I said, well, the dog is probably too big for the duck to have been eaten. So I don't think that's the case. But I do, do know that there was an altercation and, and crash. And I'm going to compare it to Skeeter. They were both such incredible animals. They, they were really special, but they were unique. Skeeter loved to be around people. Skeeter did not like other animals, not even other ducks. If you put her near another animal, she'd attack it. And then if it was bigger than her and it scared her, she'd take off and try to get away. Crash tried to befriend everything that she saw, whether it be a person, another dog, another bird, a rat in the yard. She tried to be its friend. And I think that's what happened. When she wandered off the camera, what she did was she went through a gap in the neighbor's fence. <sighs> And she went back to the dog, thinking that the dog would take care of her. And the dog beat her up. Well, about an hour had passed after my neighbor got home and he comes back and he says, he found her. And I was excited, I was like, is she okay? And he very silently shook his head and I did not want to hear that. And it didn't help things either that she wasn't in good condition when I found her. Once again, my heart is completely broken, and it's entirely my fault. I did it. It's my fault. I failed as a parent. I, I didn't take care of her. I wasn't there for her, and I needed to be. I totally blew it. Totally and completely blew it. And now, of course, you're going to have all this noise, and ruins my emotional moment. No crash was laid to rest about 30 minutes ago. I tried to take the fast back out to record a video and of course it rains. And I tried to find a dry spot here to record a video and that's why I'm here. Now what Crash did leave behind because Boomer and Crash got really close. They got really close and Crash has been laying a lot of eggs and she left behind about a dozen eggs. I don't know if they're viable or if they're any good at all. Crash and Boomer are two different species, but they can mate, and if there's any chance that there's any babies in those eggs, we're gonna try to hatch them. I think, I think to have any part of Crash live on, that would be the best way to do it. So I'm gonna gather up all those eggs, and try to put away all this, and try to get them over to Joel, which is who raised, uh, well, who hatched Boomer, I raised Boomer, but where Boomer came from, to see if we can get any babies out of those eggs. Just one would be just, just, just the greatest. And I really learned something today, you know? As again, as a parent, as a guardian, and as a human being, and I just, I failed something terrible, and you know, I made the worst mistake ever, and I lost my kid as a result. Nobody else that you can blame. It's just, it's entirely me. I did it. I don't know how much more crap I can endure after all the things that I've been going through the last two years. This is just one more thing. And it's been, it's just been a roller coaster ride of both good and bad things. And this last, this last one is just, it's left me feeling cold inside. I'm not, I'm not the same as I was, I'm just not. I'm not, am, am I better, maybe? In some ways, hardened, maybe? It's probably better that I am enduring this than others. I have a much more strong personality and I get through things better than a lot of others without going completely mental or off the deep end or doing something bad or having self-hatred or self-harm or hurting others in the, in the pattern. I, instead, I find myself some way to be productive and I, I do things. So whatever it's worth, it's better that it's me than somebody else. But I got Boomer now and Boomer, he's just been a real asshole for the last two months. And I think it has everything to do with him protecting Crash. They have bonded unlike anything I have ever seen him bond with. He never bonded with me like that. He never bonded with Skeeter like that. But Crash 
he really loved Crash. And I think Crash wore the pants in the relationship, to be honest with you. He was not the alpha. Crash was a different species, much stronger than him. In fact, even a little bigger than him. And uh, she showed him, you know, <laughs> showed him the what if, you know, when he was bad. He would bite, she would bite him and chase him around and give him what he deserved. But he would still get on top of her and hump her because that's what she wanted. So we've got some eggs, as I said. Maybe we'll have some babies on the way. I'm really hoping so. We'll just have to see. It'll be about 30 days for incubation time. And uh, we'll be giving you updates on that. Uh, you probably do understand that at this point, I'm gonna be a little slow about getting some videos out, uh, probably in the next week. I have the car show video that I'm trying to put together. I just couldn't get it together. Just my life has just been a mess. And a lot of it had to do with chasing around ducks and, and being really tired of what they were doing to me. Just the constant shitting everywhere in the house. Boomer not listening, who used to, because now he's, he's being a complete asshole following Crash around. Just, it seems like my whole life was dedicated to cleaning up duck shit. And, and I was getting a little tired of it starting yesterday. I really, really, this is not how I wanted it to end, but really was getting tired of it. And he's still being an ass. He's still, he's still not wanting to be with me, but he doesn't, he doesn't understand that Crash has gone yet. He doesn't understand. He's going to probably in the next couple days that she's not going to be there. Now, Boomer, I'll give you some attention. You'll be with me. And hopefully in about another month, maybe one of your kids will come home. And you'll have somebody to hang out with besides me. Yeah. I love you, boy. Yeah, I love you. I love you a lot. And I love you too, Crash. <sighs> ah. There's nobody that's gonna miss you more than me. Well, if you'd like to send anything to me, hit up duckshit.net. You can find my address there. We're accepting cards, gifts, whatever it is that you wanna send in, you know, condolences. Uh, my website always has my address on it, so duckshit.net, that's where you want to go. If you'd like to support me, you know, as always, likey, likey, comment, subscribe. Uh, there's going to be a lot of a-holes that are going to hit thumb down on this video because they don't like the content versus not liking me because they don't get the whole ratings concept, but I'm not going to be hurt by it because thumbs down is still an engagement. I don't know what I'm going to do. I really don't one day at a time. I just can't believe it happened this way. Thanks everybody for watching. Thanks always for your time. And thank you for all of your support in advance. I'm sure a lot of you guys are going to leave me some really great messages. And a lot of you are going to be really, really supportive of, of me. Even though I fucked this one up. This one's totally going to be on me. And my heart the rest of my life. She did not deserve what happened to her. She just didn't. <laughs> Thanks everybody for watching. Okay, you ready to get up? Ready to face the day, huh? Are you?